Greetings and salutations, this is Jason Silverain and thank you for joining me today. We'll be taking a look at the Book of Beasts and Buddies, a free game on Steam. It seems a little unusual, it seems to be a mix of a puzzle game and a visual novel. It was developed and published by Squidishins in October 2018, and apparently it was created for uh, a game by its cover, Jet Game Jam. I'm not really up to date with most of the game jams, but that one sounds pretty interesting to be honest. I might have to go and look that one up. Now, this was actually based upon a Bestry logbook by Patrick Crotty, so it's got a few inspirations here and there. So, let's have a look. Dad taught me the ways of the wilderness. Mom made sure I had snacks and blossom and found friends wherever she went. When they could no longer travel to visit their favourite places and friends, I devised a way to bring creatures and places to them. There seems to be a locked thing here. Maybe something I unlocked? Well, I can't find anything. Okay, interact then. We're back out. That's old school. That's a D&D &D joke there. A scoot scoot sneer. Okay. Okay, that doesn't do anything, so I run. Okay. What happens if I interact with it again? Okay, nothing else. A little bizarre, but it... Oh, wow, Gubbins. Yes. Um, what do I share? What do I share? Oh. Okay. Fair enough. This doesn't really seem to be much to it. It seems quite simple. I could definitely see this entertaining a younger child. Ooh, yeah, that would that would be um a little creepy. Okay, why did that one completely interact? I guess you've got to do it in the correct order. Okay, so they're reclusive silicone-based creatures that um, communicate via flatulence. Okay, I'm guessing it's a nose rather than eyes then. What's this bit? Is this like a picture? Go back to the first one. Do I have to do things in a particular order? Ah. It's a little... How should we say? Um, vague what you're supposed to be doing? By vegan. What? Can he eat vegans? Okay. The eldritch boar is incomprehensible madness and perceive it is but an interpretation of a forgotten thought. Okay. Uh, what happens if we do the high five? So I have gained a stick. 
Okay. So, that's the random item. You get, you've got to find an item in each of these things. Okay. So, that one's fully complete. That one is not quite complete. <laughs> okay, I kind of like the music for this one. And I like the bearded cactus. Um, you're not going to high five or poke a cactus, really. Okay. Well, it just seems to be very much, uh, hope you get the right choice first. Wait, what? I found something of that one? I, I don't know, uh... I don't really know what I'm doing here. I just feel like I'm just selecting random things and hoping I get the right out outcome. Oh. Okay, so I have a, uh, a magic sword now. And I groom him, uh, and then we'll have a picnic upon his back, and then we'll leave. And somehow that's not everything. Well, what happens if I feed it first? There we go. Interesting little uh, thing here. How many is there to do? Not many. Oh, and that's essentially reset the game. Okay. Okay. Oh, so we've got the mannequin. <laughs> okay. So maybe I've got to interact with it in different ways first to. Okay. Not that one then. This one I can see is a little bit annoying because mm. What do you mean it looks messed up? Yeah, that this is one's just harsh. There's no way of actually knowing the ideas what well, no the idea what the idea what was in the writers and developers mind ahead of time. There's no real clues whatsoever. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm. That one's just. <laughs> That, that was kind of cute, the noise it makes, though. Alright. Can I ride? Nope. Over already. <laughs> Just all trial and error. Okay, so I need to feed it so it runs. How am I supposed to do anything with it? It runs away right away.
So every single option stops, doesn't do anything. Maybe I've got to do something with one of the others before I can interact with it. Okay. Oh, hello. Well, at least I've got its appearance. Okay, let's defend. Alright, so I can't attack. I just have to keep defending on this one. Okay, it seems to be casting a spell. Okay. Feed? magic and it keeps booping me and I can't doesn't like the smell of me on my snacks ah I think I've got it all right what we do is wave I now have a stinky hand then I just defend And now it, I smell like it, it's going to come to me. There we go. There we go. Yeah, lots of little D&D references. Cloud kills like deadly though. That'd slaughter a small town if it casts that near to someone. <laughs> okay. Cast Meteor of Despair. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so everything is just run the hell away. Some of these just really don't have much you can do with them. And there doesn't seem to be a knock-on effect. Or carrying any of the items over, so... I'm not entirely certain what you're supposed to do. Is there anything out here? No. It's like, yeah, it doesn't do anything. Alright. Oh, your stick goes... So you've lost your stick. I had a... Okay. Okay, uh, now I've had the stick, it's now covered in the uh, slime. So, it tr yeah, so I have got all the items I've picked up. It's just very strange. How about this one? What does he want? I need to have something that can find him, then. Oh, excuse me. I don't have anything to eat yet. Oh. Oh, I used a stinky potion. So that means I get sparkling dust. Do I use the sparkling dust on this guy because he's invisible? No, it's not then. Can 
might use the stick on this guy. No. Yeah, everything's just gonna run off, isn't it? Yeah, slow him down. Okay, so I need the fastest of foods. Okay, I don't know what item I get from that, but that's... I've gotten somewhere from... Uh... Hmm. So I need to figure out what item I can get from him. It's going to be something to do with this damn Sasquatch. Shows her how nice she got her nails did. That, that's... Oh, man. This one's just annoying. I'll have to figure out what the combo is. Okay, let's see if I can get it right this time. I've been trying this for a while. So, sketch. Um, I'm going to guess lonely... Mouth. Um... Which one should I go for now? I'm going to say Sweet Smile again. Manicured. See. <laughs> oh, finally. Got some muffins. Excellent. Yeah. Mm. This guy, he's here. I mean. That was it. I've, I thought I'd go here and go. I wonder if he comes back if you click him or something, but. back to... Oh no! Let's interact with him here. <coughs> Greetings! Oh, he wants my muffins! Yeah, that's that one done then. Alright, am I missing any now? I wonder if I can do something with him. Alright, we wave. We ride. Oh, I give it the fanny pack. Yeah, I thought with the pack it would uh, do something. Oh, I get a whistle for food. I miss a whistle. All right, is there anything else I've not done? Is it just this one now? Magic Tokic Sand. Okay. That worked. Okay. So I'm just fluking out here. Oh, alright. Which one do you think we should do here? So it looks very sad, so let's go for a hug. I... what? Hmm. I'm tempted by exercise rather than exercise. I'm 
Is that everything? His diet is like... You know, um... I need to get the other stats. So, let's try that again. Alright, so, I needed to do... I forgot what it was now. Pocket sand. Oh, dads. Can I feed it? No, no. Nah. Well, that costs a lot of hit points. So diet, I'm guessing I have to do feed. It's kind of annoying with this particular one, you've got to, um... Go through it so many times. Sorry, I'm stopping there. There we go. Okay, that's all of them, I think. Am I missing anything? There we go! And, oh, that's opened up a website. Congratulations on filling out your love book. The Bunny's Betty's left you a mini art book. Oh, so it's essentially a link to the artwork. That's really nice. It's a cute little game. I can see, like, a small child getting frustrated with this. I mean, heck, I got a little frustrated with the Sasquatch, because that was just, um, ridiculous. But that's it. That's a book of buddies. Of, oh, God, I'm sorry. A book of beasts and buddies. Though, to be fair, they were more buddies than beasts. 